Action 16 and Jerry Gartenberg, the Newswatch 16 Advantage. The following is a rebroadcast of Newswatch 16 Update, recorded earlier for playback at this time. Proud to serve Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is WNEP 16, the news station. Now, Nolan Johannes, Karen Hart, Chief Meteorologist Tom Clark with his backyard forecast, and Joe Zone on sports. This is the News Watch 16 update. Good evening. For the parents of a missing child, each day can seem like an eternity. One family from our area has been waiting eight months for some news about their missing seven-year-old son. But as Nightbeat reporter Bob Costantini says, there is now a glimmer of hope for the Allentown family, thanks to a new program designed to find missing children. His picture is everywhere in the Mackerley home in Allentown. And now, seven-year-old Lewis Mackerley is pictured on milk cartons around the country. The son of Harold and Sheila Mackerley disappeared last June. The agony the Mackerley family faces every day is tempered with the knowledge missing children are now a major concern in America. Seeing his face on a milk carton is just another boost for their spirits. Uh, I know a lot of people drink a lot of milk, and it helps in more than one way. It helps people to see our children who are missing and help us find them. Plus, it, their children seeing the picture makes them ask questions, and answering the questions will help prevent their children from being taken. The Mackerleys have three other children. Nine-year-old Harold Jr. is rarely allowed out of the house alone now. Sheila says she knows Lewis is still alive and hopes the milk carton picture will send a message. He drinks a lot of milk and I think he might see his own picture and realize we do love him and we are looking for him and we want him home with us. Lewis is still very much a part of the Mackerley household. Their recent family photo has Lewis's picture in it. For a family in this situation, Situation, there are many especially bad days. Right on the carton, it shows Lewis's eighth birthday is this Friday. Are you planning on doing something for the day or <laughs> cry a lot? Bob Costantini, Newswatch 16, Allentown. There's some new hope tonight for the parents of servicemen listed as missing in action from the Vietnam War. For the first time since the war, an official joint effort is underway to find MIAs in Southeast Asia. A team from the United States and Laos has begun searching for a U.S. plane that crashed in Laos in 1972. Meanwhile, sources say the remains of five Americans in Vietnam will be returned to the United States soon. And there's also word from the State Department that excavation will begin again soon at the site of another plane wreckage in Vietnam. A crew from ABC's 2020 filmed a group of Vietnam veterans who were searching through the rubble last December. That digging was stopped by the Vietnam government, but now the State Department says the search will resume. Coming up, the story of two people coming back to our area to face murder charges. Plus, we'll tell you how to prevent an ice jam from damaging your house. The ice advice as Newswatch 16 Update continues. and affordable dining at the Hotel McGee in Bloomsburg. Come experience perfect cuisine. Your Buick dealer has nothing to hide. The Buick Somerset, technologically advanced, with standard features that cost hundreds more on some other cars. Even when you add popular options like air conditioning, AM, FM, stereo, electric rear window defogger, the sticker price is still only $99.71. That price is manufacturer suggested retail price, including dealer preparation. Tax, license, destination charge, and other available equipment are additional. When your Buick dealer gives you a price for real quality, believe it. It's been exactly four years since the Matamoros area saw $14.5 million worth of damage from ice jam flooding along the Delaware River. 
Now, four years later, federal officials are studying the river to try to predict this and prevent it from happening again. Skycam 16 was in the air back in February of 1981 as thousands of people in the Pike County area had to leave their homes to escape the floodwaters. Now, National Park Service Rangers and the Army Corps of Engineers are mapping the, and studying ice flows along the Delaware from northern Wayne County to Matamoras. Well, the information that uh, we're providing for the Corps of Engineers, they will analyze and see if there's some way that can alleviate this particular problem of ice damming on the upper Delaware. The mapping will continue through this winter and into next before officials can come up with a possible solution to the ice jamming along the Delaware River. There's another type of ice formation that can spell trouble for many homeowners. News 16's Valerie Devine reports on how it might be too late to do anything about it now. You can find it just about everywhere you turn in this neighborhood in Pottsville. As much as six inches of ice hanging from rain gutters. And with forecasters calling for heavy rain over the next couple of days, this ice could cause some problems. It uh, seems to be quite a bit of a problem this year compared to last. Uh, I didn't notice that much ice last year. This year the, the gutters are full. The problems that an ice buildup can cause vary. Sometimes the ice is so heavy it can tear down the rain gutters. And in some cases, the ice will create what's called an ice dam. That's when this stuff causes the water to back up on your roof, lift the shingles, and leak into your house. So what can you do if your house looks like this? Try and chop it out and make as much of a funnel or a trough as you can to get it out of there. Um, people are going to try hot water and everything else, and that's just not going to work if there's any kind of ice buildup. One other idea Jack Biddle suggests is heat tape. You can put this tape in your rain gutters, plug it in, and it'll keep the gutters warm enough so the water won't freeze. But if you're going to put the tape on your house now, there's a problem. You'll have to wait until this ice melts first. Valerie Devine, Newswatch 16, Pottsville. Well, next, meteorologist Tom Clark will tell us if there will be any ice problems from that storm that's headed our yeah. way, Tom. How about it, Tom? Will be ice, snow, rain, sun, what? Well, all of the above except the last one. <laughs> We're not going to see the sun until Thursday, it looks like. I'll be back with the stormy weather watch when we come back. Oh, excuse me. Where did you grow up in okay, the woods? Some things fall off my pizza, but that's only because it's got so much stuff on it, and I'm losing my balance. I stole his cheese while he wasn't looking. Pizza raid. Use noise to disorient your opponent. That way you can get more of his stuff on your pizza. <laughs> be satisfied till you are. That's our commitment and it's working. When it comes to customer satisfaction, Lincoln and Mercury outranked all domestic cars. Hey, that's Sat great stuff, but you know what time of year it is. It's time for your Lincoln Mercury dealers watching its birthday sales drive. Music. Get special savings on Mercury Cougar, the aerodynamic Topaz, and Grand Marquis. We're open extra hours, five straight days, and we'll have to move hundreds of cars. So come on in for great deals, immediate availability, on-the-spot financing, and satisfaction. And satisfaction! The revolutionary port scoot gives complete mobility to the partially handicapped. The lightweight unit is easily maneuvered and comfortable. It can be transported even in a small car, set up easily and cost a fraction of an electric wheelchair. For people with limited mobility, the port scoot can make life a lot easier, whether in the home, shopping, or at the office. The port scoot a division of EF Brewer Company, is Medicare approved. A home demonstration can be arranged by calling your local dealer. Phone Wasserots at these locations are toll-free 800-432-8095. All right, let's go out to the backyard and find out about tomorrow's big mess. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it. Uh, temperature's getting cold enough tonight that uh, I think as the onset of this storm begins tomorrow, there'll be a mixture of precipitation, but a lot of what's going to come tomorrow will be in the form of rain, but then some changes after that. Outside now in my backyard, it's really not all too bad considering what it's been like the past uh, five weeks 35 degrees now humidity 55 percent the wind is east at seven and the barometer is uh, holding at about 30.09 and falling just a bit now high temperature this day 41 degrees the warmest day here in avoca since way back on the 7th of january man it felt pretty good 15 last night we had some fog one year ago 
The low was 40. That record high temperature of 62, mm, set only four years ago. The satellite view this just in, a big swirl of clouds in the east, just a tremendous storm complex up and down the east coast tonight. Uh, some heavy thunderstorms down in Georgia. The winds uprooted trees down in that area, and also some heavy rain now falling in the Carolinas with winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour. Just a nasty night down there. But there is some snow and some rain falling now in western Pennsylvania. That is moving north as all of this precipitation is towards Pennsylvania. Storm center now forming and uh, intensifying over the deep south will crawl right up and spin itself up over Pennsylvania tomorrow night and Wednesday. So we're going to see more precipitation from this storm uh, into Wednesday as I see it now. Snowing like crazy out in this part of the country. We'll see some snow here again on Wednesday as some colder air comes in behind this storm, but a real mess coming tomorrow. Here's my forecast coming up. I think the precipitation is going to begin uh, a little bit later than I thought at 6 o'clock, between about 7 and 9 a.m. in the morning. I think it'll begin as some wet snow and sleet in many areas. Uh, the accumulation of snow will be under an inch. Then it'll change over to rain, get very windy out of this east-southeast, gusting up to 30. And we could see a half inch of rain before the night is through, uh, just enough to make, get that ice moving in the river and could cause some problems in some areas, even a little bit of flooding in some poor drainage areas. Temperature is getting up to near 40 degrees, 43 in Taylor tomorrow. Sunrise and sunset times uh, for tomorrow. Let's just check them out for the record. 7.02 and the sun will set at 5.32. Just cloudy tonight. I think the morning rush hour will be spared of any major problems. A little wet snow changing over to rain. Very windy tomorrow. 43 here in Avoca. Now, tomorrow night changing back to a wet snow and I think a light snow most of Wednesday. Uh, but the amount will not be great uh, before it ends Wednesday night. Thursday, cloudy, about 34, heading into Friday. So that's it. A lot of rain coming tomorrow. Yeah. Yep, that umbrella's going to get a lot of use. Sure will. Okay, Kay. Tom. Well, thank Thanks, you. Tom. Coming up, who cares? We'll tell you who. <laughs> Plus, Joe Soane will tell us about a record-breaking night in high school basketball. The story from Mount Carmel High School on the Sports Watch next. The eighth consecutive year, Bartikowski Jewelers is taking 50 to 60 percent off the price of all diamonds for Valentine's Day. Save 50 to 60 percent off the area's finest selection of diamond rings, heart-shaped pendants, dinner and cocktail rings, men's diamonds, and more. Plus, with every diamond purchase, you will be Bartikowski's guest for a gourmet dinner for two. But hurry, sale ends February 14th. Bartikowski's. We want to be your jewelers for life. 141 South Main Street, Wilkes-Barre. Introducing our most unusual Washington's birthday celebration. Right now in Mazda showrooms, you won't find any balloons, banners, or brass bands. But you will find honest values on our full Mazda lineup. Like Mazda RX-7, right now our selection of this remarkably well-equipped sports car is at its best. So now's your best time to buy. Come in today. We promise you a lot of honest values. By George. See your local Mazda dealer today in Dunmore, Williamsport, and Kingston. I've just coined a new saying, a dollar saved is a dollar earned. And when you shop at Acme, you really save dollars. Get up to $10 back in Carnation's Red Hot Reward mail-in offer. Just buy these eight Carnation and Contadina products and receive a $10 cash refund by mail. There are other refunds, too. Details at Acme and in Acme Circular. The $10 cash refund. Get it while it's hot. As my friend George would say, I cannot tell a lie. Acme's your store for low prices. Honest. Nolan and I have been trying to figure out what this ribbon means. We can't come up with the right idea, yeah. so uh, what is it, Jeff? 3609. That is a new state record in high school basketball. Oh. And I'm going to tell you about it, and we'll use the wonderful screen to show you the people tonight at Mount Carmel. They knew it was going to be a very significant night in Pennsylvania sports history. Up until two hours ago, Tom McMillan was the all-time scorer in the history of high school basketball in PA. Now, he's, there's a new all-time scorer. Tim Carlson was there when the record was broken. 
Mount Carmel's Maria Fantana Rosa needed just 15 points to become Pennsylvania's all-time high school basketball scoring champion, and you could tell she wanted to get it over with fast. Once the game began, Maria made short work of the first six points. The next seven points were tough as the record got closer. Finally, late in the second quarter, the record shot fell, and it took its good old time. Mom was there right away with flowers and kisses, and so were her teammates. And believe it or not, Maria had more than just the record on her mind after she completed the big task. Are you glad the pressure's off? Yes, very, very. Now we're going for districts. See who's ready. Like, say hi to Lisa Belichick. She has the chicken pox. She's one of my teammates. Hi, Lisa. Fantana Rose's 3,609 career points surpasses Tom McMillan's long-standing mark. He now plays for the NBA's Washington Bullets. So there you see it. With 106 left in the first half of the game against Pottsville, Maria Fantana Rosa of Mount Carmel becomes the state's all-time scoring champion in basketball. Tim Carlson, Sports Watch 16, Mount Carmel. Nice goal, Maria Fantana Rosa. Girls winners tonight, Mount Carmel won the game by a point. Blue Mountain, Shukalemi, Tamaqua, Panther Valley, Cardinal Brennan, Marion Catholic, Nativity, Pine Grove, and Wes Snyder. All right, let's go to the boys' scoreboard now. Lackawanna North first, Old Forge and Lakeland, and Old Forge, Lakeland remains undefeated with a win over Old Forge. Honesdale beats Sacred Heart. More scores, Riverside over Valley View, 58-41. Carbondale in overtime beat Bishop O'Hare, 52-50. School Kill League, Division I, Blue Mountain knocked off North School Kill by one point. And Loyal Sock over Lock Haven. Stroudsburg beat Palmerton on the high school basketball scoreboard. New Super 16 high school basketball poll out tonight. We'll check it from the bottom. First of all, team number 16, it's Lords Regional, as you check the record. And then in the number 15 spot, it's Northwest Area. They lost on Saturday night to Crestwood, number 14, Northeast Bradford, and then number 13, Bishop Hoban. Then you go down to 12, you see Freeland, number 11. After Freeland is Halifax, at number 10 is Galton, they're 19 and 0. Number 9, GAR, 17 and 3. Number 8, Bishop Newman, 16 and 1. Number 7, Whitehall, 16 and 4. Number 6, Allentown Central Catholic. You see the record, 16 and 3. Fifth ranked is Nanticoke at 18 and 3. Fourth ranked, Montoursville, 17 and 1. Number 3, Pottsville, 19 and 1. Number 2, Allentown Allen, 16 and 3. And the number one team in the area, Northern Lehigh, 19 and 0. The Lady Royals from the University of Scranton won their 20th straight game tonight, 22 of the year. Home with East Stroudsburg, and we're going to pick up the action with East Stroudsburg scoring early in the game. Sue Richards strikes for East Stroudsburg. Then, number 23, there's Shelly Rich to Mary Leedy. Scranton up by two. Watch Deanna Kyle pop, but misses it. Stroudsburg on the break. Number 35, Janice Jaworski to number 31, Rose Mole to number 22, Tara Gallagher. And you've got your layup there. And then Shelly Ritz back with this long shot. Deanna Kyle will go to work to Parks for two there. 75-59, the final. The Lady Royals win it. Scoreboard, Lady Royals win over East Stroudsburg. Wilkes knocks off Lye Cumming. Juniad over Kings, all women scores now. Keystone Junior over Penn State school, uh, school kill. Susquehanna over Bloomsburg. St. John's Fisher beat Mansfield. University men also home with East Stroudsburg tonight. And they're in the home whites. And they'll be coming at you early in the game. First basket, uh, number 33, John Andrako hits from 15 feet. And that ties the score, 2-2, two, two, again with East Stroudsburg. Then Danny Palachek with the foul line jumper. And he's got two right there. Action gets close, number 14, Tom Fagus scores for East Stroudsburg. East Stroudsburg with the steal and scores it for two for Reggie Steele. The University wins it, final score, 64-55. There's the board, CW Post over Bloomsburg, 74-72. Susquehanna, 89, Lebanon Valley, 77. Keystone Junior beat Cameron uh, Community College. More scores, Mansfield over St. John's, Fisher, the men's score. Now for the big boys, Georgetown beat Villanova, Baylor over SMU 94-90. Let's take a look at some of that Georgetown-Villanova game. Georgetown couldn't score in the first five and a half minutes of the game. That was Ewing missing the slam dunk, but they do finally get it rolling later on in the game. Villanova did keep the game close, fast break here, but later on, it is Georgetown, they win it. Okay, St. John's remains on top of the college poll, Georgetown a second, then it's Michigan, Oklahoma, Memphis State. 
Georgetown, Duke, Syracuse, Georgia Tech, Duke, Syracuse, SMU, and Kansas. Let's go to the wrestling scoreboard, and we'll wrap it up with high school wrestling. Number two, Northwestern. Number four, Southern Columbia. All winners. Number seven, Jersey Shore and Berwick. How about that? We got them ranked pretty close. 29-29 tie. Number 14, Shimokin over Panther Valley. Whitehall knocks off Stroudsburg, 29-28. There's the high school wrestling board. Millville, the winner there. The fishing game forecast for tomorrow looks great. Congratulations to Maria Fantana Rosa. Terrific. Mm. Beating Mr. McMillan out in about 11 more games, but a great, great record. How yeah, about you think that record will stand for as long as McMillan's has? Maybe longer. She may get 4,000 points. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Thanks, Joe. Good job. Thanks. Next, looking for someone to care for. But first, tonight's winning daily lottery number is 060. We'll be right back. The 60s was the wild look. The 70s was the let it be look. The 80s is the neat look. And Vitalis lets it be your look to style or groom or home. Vitalis makes it look better any way you wear your hair. Always good looking, natural, and very well groomed. For the neat look of the 80s, America's great classic, Vitalis has it all, so you can have it all. Um, get a Ford to go at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. Thunderbird, Ford's flagship personal luxury sedan, price to go, starting at just $10,249. Delivering Ford quality and value without the 85 price increase you'll find with comparable GM cars. You've seen it, watched it go by. Now, come drive one and find out how affordable we can make it. We'll make Thunderbird a reality for you. Come get a Ford to go at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. McDonald's, where for a limited time only, you'll also find delicious double cheeseburgers for just $1.15. Just say double, double cheese, cheeseburger, burger, please. Only $1.15. Try them. Finally, those of you who are working parents know how important a daycare center can be for your children. Well, now there are also daycare centers for adults in our area. And as News Watch 16's Kathy Bellich reports, one of those centers in Scranton is looking for people to care for. It's something new in Lackawanna County, adult daycare run by the county and Scranton's Moses Taylor Hospital. A registered nurse is always here to provide medical care to those who need it. The center even has a beautician on staff. It's a particular problem for working families that have no one to care for their mother or loved one during the day. Usually these families end up bringing in uh, people in the home to care for uh, uh, the person they're, they're caring for, and it turns out to be very expensive for the family. Here the client fee is $25 a day, but Director Gerald Scatino says most clients pay much less or nothing at all based on their incomes. The center is looking to double the number of adults it cares for now, which is 13. One of the 13 is the mother of Joy Backus of Scranton. Joy says the activities here have brought back her mother's interest in reading and other hobbies and have freed Joy from taking her mother to work with her. I get better with my mother because we were with each other 24 hours a day and uh, she resented me telling her like what to do and everything but now when she comes home she's ready. Jerry Scatino feels that adult daycare will be a big part of Lackawanna County's future in dealing with its elderly and he expects the private adult daycare centers will be popping up all over the county just as child daycare centers have. Kathy Bellich, Newswatch 16, Scranton. And that is Newswatch 16 update for tonight. For the team, we thank you for being with us. Good night.